The Nightmare Neighbour Next Door is one of the most thrilling shows I've seen in such a long time. Partly because I just love anything that's chaotic. And also because for quite a long time, several houses ago, I used to have an exceptionally nightmare neighbour. To the point where he was given an asbo, he eventually got evicted. And I'm also just really irritable. I hate people who are noisy, inconsiderate, selfish, people who play loud bass music at ridiculous hours. So this kind of show makes me feel like I'm not alone in that frustration. And it also put my own problem into perspective. But ultimately, it's just brilliant. Because there are a lot of different characters in this. And I say characters in the loose sense. These are true stories, real people. And each episode looks at a different family or a different individual. Or sometimes a street. And how people have been affected. And one of the great things about this show is that it really varies. So the very first episode is about a family who are not portrayed in the best way. The family are... Um, I don't know why this is a thing, but the family are all overweight. And there was a little focus on people putting garden gnomes on their doorsteps. And there was a slight hint that they were maybe being victimised. But for the most part... The family were not portrayed in the best way and they were portrayed as really noisy, aggressive neighbours and um, brilliant first episode. I have to say the first episode is actually still one of my favourites and I absolutely loved it. Quite calm though, they weren't doing anything you know, violent but certain episodes have things that are you know very threatening where neighbours turn to violence and people end up in hospital and it's quite intense and there's one... Um, I don't want to really go too much into it, but there's one that involves um, a current neighbour and a previous neighbour that ended in murder. And this is a pretty big case. I hadn't heard of it, but when I looked it up online, it is a really massive case where basically somebody had committed several murders, was let out of prison several years later and came so close to doing it to this family that were part of this episode. That's that's quite far in, so you kind of have to stick with it for several series before you get to that one. But I feel like it's thoroughly worth it. You know, there are kind of flippant ones where somebody's got too many chickens, and it's obviously very annoying, but it's not life-threatening. There's one where somebody refuses to kind of get off the land that's not theirs, even though they say they own that part of it. There are a lot of land disputes um, specifically from individuals who own their own property. A lot of construction, things like that. A lot of music. A lot of dogs. A lot of dogs barking. And sometimes we hear from the people being accused of making the noise. Sometimes they refuse to comment. And I think that's really interesting when they refuse to comment because to me that just means... Well, does it mean they're guilty? I don't know. I guess it, for the most part I feel like it means they're guilty because they haven't got a counter-argument. But sometimes they just maybe don't want to rise to the bait, which is admirable. There were there was one episode um, which really annoyed me because I was really in support of this. I think she was a 19, 20-year-old girl who used her next-door neighbour's wheelie bin and said she didn't know what the big fuss was because you can use a wheelie bin, it's just a bin. But actually it's illegal to put your rubbish in somebody else's wheelie bin. It's so stupid, but I was really on her side. But comments like that gave it a little bit more balance because I thought, well, actually, you were kind of in the wrong there. So although things like the first episode felt very heavily weighted towards the, or in favour of the, the people who were claiming to be the victims, there is a good level of balance where the evidence is inconclusive. There was one very snobbish woman who was taken away by the police um, who, I can't remember what she called them now, but she referred to everybody who like lived on her street by a, a certain word, I can't remember what it is, but she's one of those characters who you meet and you just think, I'm so glad I don't live next door to you. And it really puts things into perspective. And I'm quite lucky just now that my neighbours are all right. Um, you know, nothing beyond, apart from one neighbour who's exceptionally irritating, but not during unsociable hours. I'm actually quite fortunate. So if you have neighbours who drive you up the wall, it's possible. At the end of the day, though, I lost my train of thought there, but at the end of the day, it's a really brilliant, gripping show. Channel 5, fabulous fun. Some of the episodes are a little bit mundane. Um, sometimes they're so mundane that it's entertaining because you think, why are people kicking up a fuss about this? 
But there are kind of the middle of the road episodes where it's nothing exciting. But for the most part, really brilliant fun, great entertainment. Will make you feel better about yourself if you're in a similar situation. Will make you feel less alone if you're in a similar situation. Does it give advice? Well, it doesn't really give advice directly in the sense that it doesn't really say this is what you should do if you have these neighbours. But you can see the outcomes following the actions that certain neighbours have taken against their neighbours. So it, it could be inspiring and informative if you're having issues. It might help you um, kind of take a step in the right direction towards a more peaceful life. It may also, uh, if you are a very noisy person yourself, it may also um, you know, make you put things into perspective a little bit and make you realise that you're perhaps being noisy. Ultimately though, very enjoyable, great fun. If you're looking for a good quality British television that will allow us to laugh at ourselves and also cringe at ourselves, absolutely, The Nightmare Neighbour Next Door is completely worth the watch.